Okay, welcome back guys to the part 2 of how to use your 3D toolbars. We'll be looking at the patterning toolbar now. And your patterning toolbar will help you to mirror rectangular pattern and circular. Let's go for mirror first. Click on mirror. You can see it's highlighted in blue already, so select your features. Left click on everything that turns green because you want everything to be mirrored. Make sure everything is selected. Now here you're not going to click on a line, but you're going to click on a plane or a face. I'm clicking on mirror plane. I want it to be mirrored next to this face here. So I'm clicking on it and you can see the object is appearing right there. Click OK and there you have your mirror. Let's go undo again and let's go and click pattern. Mirror, it's already selected. Select all your greens. Please don't leave out anything. And I'm going to mirror next to this face here. I can choose any face that I want to. I can even choose the face here on the other side. And my drawing will appear on that side. And if I click OK, it will be there. Only thing that is not mirrored is your threads. You can go back and then just reinstate your threads that you want. Okay. So you can just basically uh, go to create, sorry, modify, click on thread, and you can go put in your thread that you need. Okay. Let's look at mirror again. Pattern. Mirror. And I'm selecting first all my features. Right, all the features has been selected, nothing's turning green. And I want you guys to look at this. The features has been selected, I can click on mirror plane. If I don't want to mirror in this direction or in that direction, you can choose any one of these planes. So if you're going to mirror according to this plane, this is what it's going to do. And if I click the next plane, that's what it's going to do. That's what the object is going to look like. So you can also mirror based on a plane. As you guys can see this. Okay. Right. That's mirror. Let's go look at circular pattern. Circular pattern. Select all your features that you want to pattern. Let's see if there's more green. There's another one. Seems like everything has been selected. Let's go to axis of rotation. You're not going to click on, on a point like in 2D drawing, but you're going to click on a circumference, and that will be your circular pattern point. So click, click on axis of rotation. Can be there, can be there, or there. Let's say we click here. Wow, look at that. How many are we looking for? I only want three. Do they have to go for 360 degrees? Yes, you can, but let's say we want it to go for 300, and then it will look like that. Let's go back to 360, and say OK. And there's your circular pattern for 3D. Very, very easy. Much more easier than the 2D version. You can just select wherever you can, and just follow the two steps to do it. Let's say undo. Uh, let's go to pattern. Circular. Select all the features. Everything that you can select. And then click on the axis of rotation that you want. You'll select that little button there. And I want it to circular pattern around this hole. It will look like that. Let's say I want four. Okay, let's stick with three. And say OK. And that is what it looks like. That's the end of circular pattern. Let's go look at rectangular pattern. I say undo. And go click on the rectangular pattern. Select all the features that you want to pattern. See, is there more? Okay, everything has been selected. Now it's looking for the first direction. 
no more a line like the 2D drawing, but a face or a plane. So I'm clicking on there and I want to pattern from there. How far from there? Okay, I want to pattern 150 millimeters from there. Let's make it 100 to make it more look better. Let's make it 50. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Right now, the question is, how many of these do I want? I want five. Okay. That will give you five exactly. Now, the next thing is, you can now duplicate these in another direction. Okay. You can go to direction number two, and you can select another direction on your drawing. Let's say I want that face there. Okay, let, let's let's forget about I, I don't want that face. Let's say okay, let's say cancel and just start quickly again. Rectangular. Select all the features that you need. I want to go in a different direction. So direction number one will be based on that face there. And I want five of it. I want it to be 50 millimeters away. That's what we have. And I'm going to go for direction number two. We are done now with it. Direction number two. I want to click on this face here. So that we can lift that five upwards. So now you will see that there's two of these now. And I want it to be 50 millimeters away as well. Look what is emerging currently. You can now see that it is doubling up on what you've done on the first pattern. If you choose three, it will become 15 now. Let's say four. And we say, okay. That right there, that's your rectangular patterning tool. Okay. Right. That is your patterning toolbar. Thank you very much.